So I'm here with Michael Johnson, the CEO of Rhinomed, and they're a Melbourne-based technology company. And Rhinomed's got some new products that you may have seen in the pharmacy. So Mute is a snoring product, and Michael's going to talk to me a bit about the Mute device. So Michael, what's the Mute device? Okay, David, well the Mute device is a nasal stent. So it goes in the nose, it doesn't, unlike the things that go over the nose, this goes in the nose and simply dilates the nose out. Um, we've been in a clinical trial we did at the Royal Victorian Eye and Ear a couple of years ago, show we can improve airflow by about 38% on average yep. when, uh, when you stent the nose internally, which is, uh, which is good. And what we've done is basically created a, a device that sits in the nose very comfortably. Mm -hmm. It uses the, if you like, the septum to basically sit alongside but not actually dilate off. Yep. Um, and as a result, what we know we can do is uh, have it sitting comfortably in the nose, dilate the nose out, and the Mute, which is our, our first, so I suppose, medical technology product, yeah. is actually designed to reduce snoring. Yeah. So we did a user trial last year, 118 couples, five-day in-home user trial, saw a 75% reduction in snoring. And importantly, from a sleep perspective, we also saw that by stenting the nose, improving respiration, we could actually improve the user's sleep quality as well, according to them. So where's this technology come from? Do you have a background in other areas of things in the nose? Yeah, so we, um, we're, our whole focus is on uh, the nose, of course, that's, and the anatomy of the nose and how we can use that as a platform. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the first product, which is actually uh, this one, which is called the Turbine, which we released at the start of 2014, is actually designed for athletes to help anybody doing aerobic exercise to breathe better through the nose. So if you've got a deviated septum, broken nose, congenital issues, just chronic congestion, this is designed to stent the nose and help people breathing and we are very lucky in the sense that the first year we launched it, we had a guy called Chris Froome. I've heard of, heard of him. Yep, well-known cyclist. Yeah. Uh, he started using it in the Volta Espana and then he actually gave us a lot of feedback on it and we used that feedback to redesign the product and then this year relaunched this one, which is version, actually version three of the product and this is what he wore when he won the Tour de France this year, which is fantastic. Pleasingly, we've also got, uh, we've got a, a New Zealand rider who set a, the new time trial world champion and we actually had some guys in Canada set a world speed record, 136 kilometres an hour wearing the turbine in a human powered uh, wow. cycle, which is great. Yeah. So this is really about socialising people with the product, yeah. the idea of putting something in the nose, which we recognise is a strange idea, mm -hmm. um, but by socialising it we get them used to the concept and then when it comes to actually the clinical or medical application, we have a, uh, the Mute, which is the first version, if you like, our first foray into the sleep space. But acknowledging that one of the key challenges in the sleep industry is getting people to accept a new technology and then adopt it. So who, who's the Mute for? So the, mute's, the Mute is actually ideal for anybody who snores from this sort of upper airway issue. From, uh, it's certainly not a panacea. If you're snoring from, let's see, from issues in the throat, we're not necessarily going, going to assist with that. But for people who suffer from a deviated septum or nasal congestion or snoring for those reasons, it's something they should probably consider trying. Right. Mm. Thanks, Michael. Now, what's the future hold? What else has Rhinomed got up its sleeve? Well, we, are, we sort of see this technology as a true platform technology because we know that we can, for instance, introduce fragrances into it. So we're working on a formulation that will act as a nasal decongestant. So a long release, low dose menthol eucalypt that will basically stop people getting congested at night, make it easier. We're having clinicians use the Mute in conjunction with a oral device mm -hmm. to assist with, once again, the yep. breathing issues that many patients complain of. And we've had a lot of clinicians at this conference in particular suggest that combining it with a CPAP mask may assist people, once again, with nasal issues to be more compliant. But the thing that we're pretty excited about at the moment is actually this technology here, mm -hmm. which is the idea, I suppose, of combining a stent with a valving system to help create EPAP. And, uh, Professor Darren Mansfield's actually halfway through the trial on that out at Monash. Mm -hmm. We expect the results hopefully maybe later this year, early next, and that'll be pretty pivotal because what we'll be trying to show there is a well-tolerated, eff efficacious device in, in, uh, in sleep apnea targeting mild to moderate patients. Just talk me through how this works. Sure. So the, the, the concept behind it is that if you can stent the nose, you overcome that issue of people unable to breathe, that resistance. So by stenting the nose, and then putting a valving system in so people can breathe in, actually breathe in more efficiently, mm -hmm. but then when they exhale, they hit some resistance. That's created by the valving system, and as a result of that, you create upper airway pressure, and that's actually assist, that's going to assist some patients suffering mild to moderate, patient, mild, mild, mild to moderate ISA. 
Yeah, I really look forward to these type of devices becoming available. And I, and I like your suggestion too, and I, that's where I find the mute sometimes helpful in my practice as an add-on to yeah. some of the other existing treatments. So dental appliance where I need just that bit more, right. uh, mask where someone's got a bit of nasal obstruction. So yeah, it can be helpful. Yeah. And we sort of we sort of recognise that this is it's not a panacea, but it probably plays a role in very different patient groups in different in different ways. And I think that's the exciting thing from our perspective is that from an innovation perspective, we can respond to the specific needs of patients down the track and specific clinicians in different ways. Thanks, Michael. Great pleasure. Thanks, David. For the A to Z of sleeping well, head to the hub. Sleephub.com.au.